Happy Halloween Parade Watchers! And welcome to a new history video. As on this day, we'll be looking into a creature that looks scary, but actually friendly. And that is, Maurice Sentax Wild Thing. From the classic children's book, Where the Wild Things Are. Out of all the characters that have flown in as a giant balloon, Wild Thing has a significant history. So let's look at his balloon, that was in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. In 1997, a phone company called Bell Atlantic, merged with 9X, for a deal merge of $23 billion. As for a logo for the company and their commercials, they adopted a character for Maurice Sentak's children's book, Where the Wild Things Are, which was, Wild Thing. A year later in 1998, Macy's announced a Wild Thing balloon to be in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. To celebrate the children's book's 35th anniversary, with Bell Atlantic, as his sponsor, when author and illustrator Maurice Sendak heard the news, he immediately jumped into the team. Since he grew up watching the parade during his childhood days in Brooklyn. Any trip from Brooklyn to New York was like going from Earth to Mars. A transcendental experience. Um, Macy's and the building at Macy's and the Empire State Building and things floating in the sky were just an extraordinary event for a kid, as they still are, obviously. Um, who could have imagined that I'd get up in the air someday? <laughs> so the design of the Wild Thing balloon is him saying boo, in a wild friendly way. When Sendak visited the parade studio at Hoboken, New Jersey, since it's now located in Munaki, New Jersey, he along with head designer Manfred Bass, Make sure that the wild thing balloon is wild. You should be looking down and sort of being calm and go say boo. So say boo, your, your arms have to go up high. After they made the clay model, to be made from balloon fabric, wild thing is completed. Also, here are the instructions on the inflation of the balloon. It looked like it was going to be a good day for both Bell Atlantic and Sendak. But however, trouble will occur on parade. It's Thanksgiving morning in 1998. And it was a very rainy and windy day. Sure, it was pretty cold and wet for the spectators, but it was not going to be a good day for the balloons. You see, this was the first year for the new rules on the giant balloons for the people at Macy's and New York City. Specifically for their size limits of the balloons, the expansion of the handlers and pilots, and have two utility vehicles to help control the balloons. These were added after an accident occurred with an oversized balloon in the previous parade, from high winds and Wild Thing, was one of the first of three new balloons, to start that change. Along with Babe the Pig, and Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. But, heavy winds and lots of rain occurred that year. So it was gonna be very difficult for the volunteers, to make sure everyone is safe. Which that was the good news. But there were some bad news along the way. As four balloons were deflated before even starting the parade. And it was either from a lamp post or tree branches three recurring balloons that were still eligible to fly got that. And they were Garfield, Spider-Man, and Quick Bunny. As for the fourth one, it was of course, the new Wild Thing balloon. It was at West 77th Street. Which is one of the streets used to inflate the balloons to get ready for the parade, and he's ready. Despite of the other three balloons being deflated. Hope was high as Wild Thing being one of the new balloons, would be a star in the streets of New York City. And already it's a crowd pleaser despite of it not being in the parade yet. But then came trouble. A crosswind shoves the balloon into a lamp post, punching an important section of the balloon. After the incident, Manfred Bass and the parade director Gene McFadden came to the scene. I want to make a balloon park. I want these balloons down, down, down. I'm going to bring them all the way out. And all the way out. 25 is too high. I am really down. Okay. Despite of that section being pop, it was too damaged to fly. So it has to be fully deflated as quickly as possible. So with the advertising campaign by Bell Atlantic, for Wild Thing, will not be seen live on NBC. But, what happens if a balloon gets damaged and can't be able to be live at Herald Square? You see, when a balloon does not reach Herald Square, NBC shows either a test flight footage if it's the balloon's debut, or show a previous year when a balloon was at Herald Square. So you would think since it's his debut, that would show his test flight footage. Right? Well actually, no. Yep, no test flight footage was shown. Not even Katie Crick and Matt Lauer didn't mention him at all. 
but he was managed to be in the opening credits in the section of the giant balloon. Giant character balloons, including Barney, Rugrats, Spider-Man, Garfield, and the debut of Bay, Dexter, Maurice and X, Wild Thing. With After the parade ended, there was a press coverage on questioning about the accident, and if he will appear again in the following year. And Macy's promised that he will. Three months later, on a cold day in February 1999, at Macy's Parade Studio, Manfred Bass and Jim Martel are doing a chamber test. Checking to see if the seals are fully airtight, and by doing it, they listen to the balloon skin. Bass and Ardell's mission was to make sure this balloon gets through the entire route. Parade ends at noon, so between 6 a.m. and noon is six hours. So if this balloon stays on the floor and maintains pressure for six hours, we're reasonably certain it's going to make it from uptown all the way downtown and be looking good when it goes through camera. And the good news is, it passed its test. And Wild Thing is ready for the 1999 parade. But however, something happened. Wild Thing did not appear. Why? Well, I really don't know. From what I can find, no information told me on what happened to him in the parade. I'm guessing he either got deflated or the New York City police officers grounded him, cause he could be going out of control on the parade route. Especially on another raining parade. But not as windy compared to the previous year. But, what about the parade's broadcast on NBC? Was he finally mentioned? Not even. No mentioning to him, whatsoever, except once again, of the opening credits. Giant character balloons, including Hoffler, Bullwinkle and Rocky, Maurice Tendex Wild Thing, Garfield, and the debut of Millennium Snoopy, Blue from Blue's Clues, Honey Nut Cheerios B, Petula Pig. If I'm guessing where the Wild Thing balloon would be in terms of the balloon's lineup, I'm guessing he would have been between Quick Bunny and Dexter. But that's just a guess. So this is probably the biggest question I have here. What happened to the Wild Thing balloon in the 1999 parade? Despite of the two years that he did not appear in the route, the Wild Thing balloon was retired. And he would have been one of the giant balloons that never made it to Herald Square. But then came in 2002, in preparation for the 40th anniversary of Where the Wild Things Are in 2003, Harper College Children's Books decided to sponsor the Wild Thing balloon. So back then, you would be concerned that the wild thing will make it. Not just because of the two years he wasn't in, but also, it was going to be a very cold parade. As a result. Hey guys, look who's causing a New York size ruckus, a wild thing to make everybody's heart sing. You know the story when wild little Max is sent to his room, he dreams that it becomes a forest where the wild things are. Next year marks the 40th anniversary of this children's classic. Harper College Children's Books furnishes Maurice Sendak's Wild Thing Balloon, and he's scary. The artist joined forces with Macy's Parade Studio, and before you could say boo, this magnificent creature came to life. Now, guys, do you know who inspired Maurice Sendak to create the original Wild Things? I believe King Kong had something to do with it. You are correct, sir. Actually, if Max could fantasize sailing to a place where the wild things are, just imagine his fascination with the wild thing balloon taller than nine jungle gyms. Dinosaurs of all shapes and sizes roam. After he finally did it in 2002, he came back in 2003 to celebrate the book's 40th anniversary. But also the announcement of a motion picture based on the book, which that would not be released until six years later. 2003 marks the 40th anniversary of that classic children's book where the wild things are. Wild Thing Balloon is furnished by Harper Collins Children's Books and brought to life by Macy's Parade Studio and author Maurice Sendak. Everyone knows the story. Mr. This Little Max puts on his wolf suit, gets sent to bed without his dinner, then dreams his room becomes a forest where the wild things are. After selling five and a half million books, those wild things will soon star in their own motion picture. Today, Wild Thing Balloon flies by at over three times the height of a movie screen. We're ready for big time adventure on the new float expedition to the top of Rhino Mountain. The float is furnished by... After the 2003 parade, he was retired, making a total technical appearance of four. It was very disappointing for Macy's and Bell Atlantic, which will later be Verizon by the way, for the two years he did not appear in. But, 
Harper College Children's Books, managed to save the balloon, for the other two years that he succeed. So now we're done with this creature, as next time, we'll be looking into another school kid. Which is an aardvark.